Hello, everyone. I want to close out our digestive week by talking about whole grains. Now, whole grains can be a great source of fiber and are a complex carb. Now, that being said, I still highly recommend that we get the majority of our complex carbs and our fiber from fruits and veggies. Okay, but back to whole grains. The reason why I love the idea of whole grains is because I mistakenly believed, and I think a lot of people are with me on this, that you couldn't have starchy type foods or carb carby type foods like rice or pasta or bread and still lose or and or maintain a healthy weight. That's not necessarily the case. When we have uh, whole grains, they act as a complex carb, right? And if we remember the difference between a simple carb and complex carb is that simple carbs wreak havoc with our blood sugar levels and uh, promote storing fat. And nobody wants that in this challenge, right? That's why we're here. Okay, so that being said, uh, a whole grain is comprised of three basic parts. Um, the bran, the germ, and the endosperm. Now the endosperm is the starchy part, right? So the bran and the germ have all the good fiber and all a lot of the good nutrients there. So with a lot of processed pastas and breads and things like that, they remove the bran and the germ and they just leave us with the endosperm, the starchy part. So that makes it a simple carb. That's not what we want. So another thing is you gotta read those labels, friends, because made with whole grains does not mean it's whole grain. That means there's some whole grains in there. What we want is 100% whole grains, right? So uh, I'm uh, gonna post a, a guide. I got it from Mary Gowdy. It's awesome because it, it shows, different. first off, it shows a little bit more scientifically uh, the structure of a whole grain, so that's cool. Um, it also uh, lists some different types of whole grains, some that I, w I wasn't even familiar with, and how to cook them. Again, which is great because I wasn't familiar even with a grain, much less how to cook it. Some of them may take a little bit more prep time. So I have, uh, I'm going to show you some super convenient ones you can just grab at the store and pretty much go. Um, so I talked about my spaghetti the other day in my live video, and I love that because I just have the whole grain. Now it's a complex carb and it's good. It comes in different types too. Again, read that label. Make sure the first word is whole right? Whole grain is what we're looking for. Um, and then there's this too, which I really like, right? So this puts back traditional dishes back on our menu, back in our meal planning, like spaghetti or some scampies and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's great because we don't need to be deprived or be bored with what we're eating. Next, um, of course, is rice. Uh, you know, just plain old rice. This thing takes like, what, 30 minutes to make? Easy. But Sometimes we have time demands where just like we don't want to maybe go to the extra prep time of the guide I'm going to um, post, but even like this 30 minutes, like, are you kidding me? I just got home. Kids got to go to volleyball, soccer, whatever it may be. We have, some of us have a lot of time demands, so we got to be quick. So I like this. I don't have kids. But I sometimes am running late with dinner for whatever reason, right? We all have our thing. So anyway, this um, I think is really good. It's super fast. And it's not messy, you know, it doesn't, there's no sticking to the pot when you make the rice. So that's really handy. Then there are these cool guys when you're really in a hurry, you just can't wait or you're hangry. So these take 90 seconds in the microwave, so convenient, right? But you got to read those labels, right? So this is whole grain, awesome, but it's super high in sodium. So, okay, watch out for that, right? I mean, believe me, I have this sometimes, it's definitely not a... It's not even a weekly thing for me because of the sodium, but there are the 90 second guys that are just plain brown rice, super low in sodium and whole grain. So that's great. Um, mind you, when I make this, I do uh, season it with a little bit of this. A little bit of this goes a long way um, and it's much lower in sodium than say regular soy sauce. Anyway, um, what else? Uh, there are whole grain crackers you can have. Remember, we're wanting one serving of whole grains a day. So that doesn't mean eat bunches of crackers and then have, uh, you know, a pasta dinner with your whole grain pasta. It doesn't mean that, right? It doesn't mean that. Another thing, just because it says whole grain and just because it is 100% whole grain doesn't mean it's healthy. You should eat like the box, right? These guys, you get like six crackers as a serving, right? Okay, keep that in mind, folks. Also, breads. Um, 
there are a couple, there's actually a lot more choices now than there used to be, which is great. Because when I first started like really paying attention, I would get this. And this is great. Maybe it's not great. Maybe that's too strong a word. It's, I, I like it as toast. It's not my favorite though, because it's drier and it's not the uh, consistency texture I'm used to for bread in bread. Then I visited Randy a while back anyway, and um, she showed me this. This is Dave's um, bread and it's whole grain and there's seeds and yumminess. It's really satisfying and hearty. It's good bread. So that's uh, fun to have too. So um, do me a favor. Uh, comment below and let us know what you do, how you work your whole grains in, and maybe what you've switched from and we're going to switch to to make healthier choices. All right, guys, thank you so much.